there, junior scientists. Today, we're going to dive deeper into a specific branch of science called chemistry. Have you ever learned about chemistry before? If so, comment below on the most memorable experiment you did. Chemistry is a major branch of science that studies the properties of matter. Did you know everything in the universe is made up of matter? From buildings and plants to humans and animals and everything in between. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Think of atoms as building blocks for everything in the universe. Depending on the way that atoms interact with each other and are bonded together, they can create anything. Let's compare a rock versus a banana. They're two completely different things with different shapes, colors, and textures. But they are both made up of atoms. Starting with just a very small particle, the way atoms interact with each other can dictate what the object could be. How cool is that? Looking inside an atom, it has a central core called a nucleus. A nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. Electrons are charged up with a ton of energy, and these negatively charged particles spin around the outside of the nucleus. The nucleus is like the sun. The electrons are planets orbiting the sun. What makes atoms different from each other? What really makes atoms different from each other is how many protons each atom's nucleus contains. For example, when an atom has one proton in its nucleus, it becomes a hydrogen atom. When an atom has two protons in its nucleus, it becomes a helium atom. When you know how many protons are in an atom, it becomes a specific element, like hydrogen and helium. These elements are the simplest forms of matter and help dictate the physical properties of their substance. Have you ever heard of the periodic table before? This table lists all of the chemical elements in the world and in the order of how many protons and atoms each nucleus has. When two or more atoms form and combine, they create a molecule. The most common molecule that people refer to is H2O or water. The H is hydrogen and the O is oxygen. That means water molecules have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen molecule. There are so many different kinds of chemistry, but chemists study atoms and molecules to understand everything in the world and how it works. Chemistry is often referred to as the central science because it joins together physics, math, biology, medicine, and so much more. We hope you enjoyed learning all about the basics of chemistry. There's so much more to learn about out there. If you want to learn about how atoms make up the states of matter, check out our STEM Unraveled on the states of matter. Come back next month for a STEM Unraveled lesson on gravity. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more stimulating lessons and activities.